Aha. Almost there. And if this works, we are going live on. We are now connected now to live. Facebook. Says we are. We are live. Oh, shut the front door. Lisa is genius. Touchdown. We are live on Facebook. Yay. Okay. So we're well done. Now we really have to behave. Now we right. certainly have to be mindful. Matthew and Thomas, I'm looking at you. Hey. <laughs> I'll be I'll be good. <laughs> Promise. Welcome, everyone, to the final episode in our series, Sisterhood of the Serpent. This is our wrap-up video. We're really excited to be here live with each and every one of you, some of the presenters, some of the guests that arrived um, to this uh, Serpent Mound Spring event. We're really excited to be here with each and every one of you once again. It's always interesting when you when you come back from such an event, you come back with what I refer to the highs of highs, the best high I've ever had in my life is always when I'm gathering with my family. And uh, you know, this being our chosen family and it is absolutely incredible. It's an interesting integration that we face when we do come back because just been in this amazing energy with all these amazing beings and <clears throat> to come back home we share that energy with our family our friends in our community so there's always this little bit of an adjustment period so we've had that adjustment period and here we are a couple of weeks out from it and I'm curious as to how each and every one of you are doing since we have each come back. And what is your takeaway from this experience? Lisa, anything you'd like to add to that? Now, I, I know when I thought about this, you know, we were still gathered together. And obviously we had had the, the series of conversations that had preceded it. And just, you know, this was only my, technically my third time with everyone. And it's just like trying to catch lightning in a bottle was really the goal of this. And it's, it's what I, I, you know, I've said a few times with, as I sat there and, and really the, the role that I get to play is complimentary it, because I, you know, I, I handle registration and I sort of float back and forth very intermittently. So I really observe everybody more than anything else. And then I come and play some bowls and hit a gong and then I float back to registration and just kind of enjoy watching everybody get higher and higher and higher and connect more and more strongly and deeply and then by the time you know we all leave monday morning it's hard you know it's hard to say goodbye it's hard to get out of ohio <laughs> by the time we or you know i'm going okay we, we gotta get in the car everybody get in the car and then, then next okay well we gotta stop at terry's okay we gotta get in the car we gotta get in the car. and it turns into this production and you know i think being able to stay connected in with this technology is what this technology should be utilized for is to keep that energy flowing, keep that vibe going, keep us, hi, Soraya, um, to, to be able to commune in this space between the times that we get together is, I think, so precious and also um, so necessary. So I want to thank everybody for showing up here tonight. I want to thank everybody for showing up there um, when we met. And I want to thank everybody in advance for showing up in June when we <laughs> when we show up again together for the summer solstice. So um, I look forward to hearing all of you share and seeing all of this unfold. So 
who wants to talk first, Matthew? Uh, Terry and Thomas, is there anything oh, Terry you, Thomas. you would like to say? You can you can unmute if you want, or yeah, there you go. Anything you would like to add to that, Terry and Thomas? Well, we were very pleased that it was um, a peace summit that truly was in peace. Um, no drama, just a, a beautiful group of people um, nobody was trying to better the other. They were trying to better each other. And we so appreciate that. Um, here's Thomas. Oh, I can't touch your phone. It's infected. <laughs> uh, you know, what I took away from this, uh, other than, than you know, the, the past events, they've all been great. But this one kind of stands out because of the feedback that I got from the event afterwards uh, from people that come in my shop and talk. And for a lot of people, it was nice to hear it was a life-changing event for them. And they actually found some direction uh, in their life and a, and a new path forward. And it was... Uh, Besides the, the, the underlying drama that was going on before the event, uh, the event actually turned out to be quite peaceful. And I mean, I've, I've heard more good comments about it than any other event that we had. So I hats off to everybody that, that helped contribute and, and make it possible. So let's, let's keep going. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm in full agreement with you there, Thomas. This was incredible. Everybody was working together. And if there was an issue, communication was, was there. So it's, it's amazing. Like we're, we're working together. Uh, well, even from cleaning the bathroom. Right. Uh, Nikki just said, well, I, and, and another woman said, I just cleaned it. You know, it was, it was like their own home. So they just did what they had to do, and it was truly beautiful. Absolutely. So we would like to open up the floor to each and every one of you. Uh, you know, this is me. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, Grandmother Vitelli, how are you? You know, this, this, um, it changed me profoundly. And um, first of all, I discovered what a, a sense of humor the universe has since I made arrangements to have only five people in the chalet and we ended up with nine um, and laughed till the wee hours of the morning. But, but there was something else going on. There was a... Um, um, meeting old, old friends, meeting grandsons, um, having all my notes disappear before my talk, and then not remembering anything I said, which was interesting. But it, um, I'm not sure at this point what all the changes were but it was on a deep, deep heart connection level that um, I've not ever experienced before. And I think that to admit, you know, that um, that can happen at any age, you know, and uh, Everything has changed for me. I mean, everything. And um, one of the shocks was, was to see pictures of myself and not recognize myself. Because inside, I'm 20. <laughs> but obviously, the camera doesn't see that. <laughs> no. and, and I think I posted one that I didn't recognize this woman at all. I didn't know who she was. To be the oldest person was a real shock to me when I, I can't explain it to you all, but it seems like 
chronologically, the older you get, the younger you feel inside. And um, <clears throat> so I feel really young. And, uh, but I wanna thank so many of you that I see right here. <laughs> Rhonda and Rhonda, I mean, um, we, and Lisa and Carla, we laughed till we couldn't laugh anymore. And, you know, um, it, it was just incredible. And Daryl, you were just, just exceptional with what you did. And Matthew, whether you like it or not, you were one of my grandsons and you'll adjust. <laughs> I know I will. <laughs> but I, I, I just wanted to express that, that um, you know, I thought I was virtual going in and coming out, I know I know nothing. And yet I know it. So I'm going to leave it at that. And thank you for letting me express that because it was profound. And I will be there in September. Beautiful. Thank you so much, uh, grandmother. It it was sheer joy to be in that chalet with you. So many incredible, incredible moments. As you said, we, we, we laughed like we, we were little kids. You know, we just had such enjoyable times eating together, cooking together, and just enjoying each other's companies. Right here. And yeah, it was, it was incredible. So thank you for welcoming us <laughs> into your chalet. <laughs> Oh, so thank you so much. We enjoyed it immensely. So um, let's let's open it up. Let's let's. I think it would be really interesting to have the perspective of the presenters and um, switching in between to some of the participants. So I, I think it'd be really nice to to go back and forth. So. Um, Crystal Lane, can you unmute yourself as a participant in, in this gathering? What is your greatest takeaway? Yo, Crystal. She is sidetracked. <laughs> oh, there she is. Sorry, but the um, internet connection went out. I'm trying to... Move room. You guys are talking to me, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So uh, we're curious as to um, for you, um, how was the gathering for you? Like, what it what most stands out for you? How has it changed you? Yeah. Um, that's so funny. I love how when you get called on, the internet goes out. <laughs> So um, for me, it was, um, I think just the people and like the heart connections um, to just be like in a group of um, like-minded people that want to be happy and experience joy and love on each other. So um yeah, like just right away, like as soon as I got there on Friday, it was just like, you know, hey, I'm Crystal, who are you? And like just making friends like instantly with everybody is pretty amazing. So um, for me, I think that was like the biggest, you know, takeaway was just all of the connections and the love. And then, um, I also got to bring my nine-year-old niece and that was super fun just to like have her um, experience a place that had so much love like that and so many different things happening. And then just to see her like full of life and light up and feel free to be a kid and run around and play. So that was 
pretty awesome to, to witness and be a part of that. Um, and yeah, so I just feel like immense gratitude for everybody that took time to um, present different things. And, um, you know, like I know, like I'm not even aware of like all of the time and the effort that goes into creating such a beautiful event and to just be able to come and to receive and be a part of it and to enjoy um, is absolutely incredible. And so I just feel immense gratitude to everybody that put so much time and effort into it. Um, and just for all of the people that show up and um, yeah, so I'm really glad that I went and you know, I'm excited to come again uh, in the future for sure. <laughs> and I know like when we were about to leave, like Maylee was like, are we gonna go in the fall? Is this happening? And so she already is also excited. So it was pretty great. So yeah, <laughs> so I think that's it. And I'm glad the inter internet connection held. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Crystal. It was such a pleasure to yeah you over that weekend, and we will definitely see you again. At the yeah, love you guys. Love you. Uh, Rhonda Fisher, you, you've had so many roles. Um, so I'm curious for you and your perspective, because you had so many roles. Um, <laughs> that blank was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had so much fun. And I don't know, I mean, I was, it was going from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. We'd get back to the cabin, have some fun, sit up laughing until at least two. <laughs> I don't think I had any sleep in three or four days. Um driving home was difficult because all I wanted to do was pull over and sleep and integrate and it was um one incredible moment incredibly intense high the entire time I don't remember activities I don't remember sleeping I do remember laughing and I met a baby buffalo that is still with me that was so incredible. Um, I have to be, that baby buffalo was the absolute high still for that, for that time. And um, it woke me up um, a week ago, licking my face. <laughs> but uh, I had, I met so many people. I had so much fun. Standing there with you, Carla, was such an honor. And, and Terry, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What an incredible blessing to be participating with such a loving, supportive, uplifting group of people, uh, men and women, supporting one another, you know, really there for each other. There wasn't a moment of, I did not feel a moment of disharmony through the whole event. And I'm like, right now I'm crying because <laughs> it was really, really wonderful. And uh, getting to spend that time with grandmother Vitaly, that, that was just off the hook. I can't even imagine trying to explain to anyone how much happened because I don't even have the words for it myself. So it, it was good. <laughs> I was glad to be there. Yeah. Thank you, Rhonda. And thank you for um, all your help with, with emceeing. It's, you know, I've been working with Connie for, for quite some time and um, it's really nice to it was, it was that ease and flow, just as it is ease and flow with Connie, it is ease and flow with Rhonda Fisher. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. And I truly you enjoyed well. myself. Wonderful. You could see, you could see you were, you were just beaming 
And, yeah. and that is sheer joy just to see people beaming because you were so in your element. And, and even if I would just say to you, because, you know, sometimes things get a little crazy. And, and I recall sometimes saying to you like, like, don't worry about it. Like, you got it. Like, you know, this person just, just go off the puff. <laughs> and you were like, okay, <laughs> you just did it. You just did it. Yeah. Do what you do. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank you. It was, it was, it was a pleasure to work side by side. My, my feet didn't hit the ground the entire week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Mm. Uh, Rhonda Murphy, let's, let's, let's oh. hear from both Rhondas. Rhonda, you, um, wow, your job with, with grandmother, so, so devoted. What a, what a beautiful. Yes, I'm blessed to get to spend so much time with grandma Barbara. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you can, you can see that because it's, um, you take such pleasure in what you do and you're, you're honoring her. And at the same time, you can see that you are learning so much in the process. Um, and, and you I'm, are, I'm an introvert. So hanging around her means I get to meet people without too much effort. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah. Now you were so much a part of um, the Celtic ceremony, which I still don't know what happened there. I don't care what happened there, but boy, do I know I feel amazing and something has totally shifted and changed. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit with that right now. But you were such a, a beautiful part of that ceremony. And, and that um, was my first time calling in the dragons. And I was lucky grandma kind of gave me a heads up on the way up that I would be doing that. So, but um, that was a powerful experience for me too, because I didn't know what I was going to say. It just came. I heard it and it said it. And that was really, I was, uh, this was my second time I came with grandmother in, uh, in September. And the energy was so much more, I don't know, so much more together this time. The group of people seemed to have so much more similar energy. And I was also really pleased and impressed with how much more participation there was in the workshops and, and, uh, and in the presentations than there was in September. Uh, um, and, uh, there were a couple times when I looked at people in the eyes and, and it was, and I know you from way back, that does not happen often. And so I, that was really cool. Not even sure who it was. <laughs> I mean, he's standing over there. I know what he's wearing. So I will never recognize him again unless I look him in the eyes and see that again. But yeah. Um, and of course, yes, being in the chalet with all of those wonderful women was just incredible. We had, um, one of the things that I learned in that group was, I thought I had trauma as a child, but apparently I had a really easy life, I must say, because there's been a lot of trauma in the lives of people that we've been around in, and, and it, uh, I'm sorry for the trauma that each of you have had and thank you for sharing it because I, I, I have learned what an easy life I've had by comparison. I'm really shocked and grateful. So you, I guess hearing other people's challenges makes mine seem easier. They were my challenges. They were, they were designed for me by spirit personally and and so they seemed hard to me but I would rather have had my challenges and probably everybody feels that way about their own <laughs> so. so true <laughs> so true that's it for me thank you very much but thank you for sharing the stories that you shared in in that chalet as well I mean what a beautiful moment when all the women can share what is in their heart and not be judged for it. And it's interesting, you know, you're seeing it from the perspective of 
Um, my challenges are not as great as some of the other challenges. And it's interesting, those that have had greater challenges were, were still in awe, like, wow, like you went through that? You went through that, you survived that? It doesn't matter how great or if we think something is insignificant, nothing is insignificant, nothing at all. So thank you for sharing all that you did. And again, it, it was a pleasure to be in that chalet. It was just a pleasure. I feel like I, I need to add two thoughts based on what Rhonda just shared. Um, I, I, <laughs> had I thought of this earlier, I would have certainly said it when I spoke a few minutes ago, but I feel like we should have added a colon after ceremony of awakening. What the hell just happened? Because I heard that more often through the weekend, like what the hell just happened? You know, <laughs> like everybody, it was, there was so much, energy and there things were transforming and evolving in this magnificent incredible and um wild way so i feel like it, as we got to the end of the weekend <laughs> certainly the theme was what the hell just happened Does, can anybody tell us and i i remember and this was grandmother barbara you know we were sharing at the at, when we had first arrived that it, it seemed like for so many reasons there was a lot of obstacles for those of us who showed up there to overcome so it was not an easy journey for a lot of people to be able to make there was a lot of um, individuals that for whatever reason didn't make that journey in the last minute but the people who arrived there and when you saw the cohesiveness of of everybody it was very apparent that there was a soul family reunion going on and it was a very purposeful group of people assembled the way they were when they were and how they were so I, I definitely wanted to piggyback on that the ceremony of awakening what the hell happened experience and and really the fact that the people who were there it seemed very apparent were there by design so I'll be quiet Thank you, Lisa. That was so important to add. Absolutely. Daryl, I love your shirt. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, and I had to put it on, Grandmother Barbara. You know, can you hear me all right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it just so seems fitting that I should put it on now. She put me into the category of the best dressed uh, presenters at Serpent Mound that weekend. <laughs> Wonderful gift that she gave me. And it really, I kind of said when I was speaking then, you know, it's, uh, you know, I've got some nice priestly looking robes and some nice ministry garment and things like that. But I tell you what, this is the best uh, item I have in my wardrobe and the significance of what it represented when she gifted it to me and i just want to say again uh, thank you grandmother barbara for for this i explained it to a few people and when i had told big by on our drive back I was taking him i uh, bringing him back here to ohio to the airport and i think everybody uh, he would want me to share as well but it it, it certainly was it was a five-hour drive to get back to detroit uh but and he's been uh, this is maybe his fourth trip the Serpent Mound, but it was nothing like we either of us have experienced before. We were just, uh, and still, you know, like Lisa just said, it, it's not even a matter of the question like what just happened. It, it's, it's it's like what's happening because it's still happening, you know. Um, and I'm still energetically. It's been taken now just a few weeks just get to the point where. Uh, I mean, I have plenty of energy to do what I need to do through the day, but you know, I, I've got to stop and my body is still recovering and it's still kind of like some type of energy conservation mode where I just got to drink water and rest, you know, when I get home and I'm not trying to do it intentionally, but my body just says, okay, let's shut down and I shut out other distractions and then I'm just still receiving. And speaking of receiving, you know, I didn't really get a whole lot out of Serpent Mile. I mean, other than this snazzy, jacket you know oh unless unless you include this uh when i went to go when i went to go refill 
two of my five gallon jugs of water from that delicious natural spring at Serpent Mound, this was laying on the ground outside the well. And it says dream. And then on the backside, make it happen. And I took a picture because as I was filling one of my jugs, the light was passing through the other one. I took some excellent pictures. A, a rainbow formed on the ground for the Rainbow Warriors at Serpent Mound. And it was just, you say, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, oh. And I, I, I did bring this from my tour that was on the ground, just a piece of bark from one of the trees on that sacred site. And there was a lady there that you may recall. I didn't get much, but there's a lady there that I, I gifted some money to help pay for her speeding ticket. And so she tracked me down later when she found out who he was, who I was, and she said she didn't feel so bad and grateful. She said she had never had a hundred dollar bill. Um, I think Terry was sharing that with me, but she said, I want to give you something. And so she gave me this, she gave me a feather. I thought that was wonderful. Oh, and, and there was a, a little piece of corn that found its way back with me that somebody was using. And then there's some other items, some things that I got from Grandma Barbara's ceremony that I brought home with me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't bring home much. Oh, and there was this. Somebody gifted me this little man that they folded, a little man with a suit with a tie made out of a dollar bill. I got a snazzy guy in a suit. Oh, and, and, and it was a monk. Oh, and he gifted me this cute little bird that he had folded with origami. Ar so there was that, you know. Oh, oh, and then there was this. A nice big chunk of shaga. And I'm a shagaholic. So instead of buying shaga, now I'm putting it in my own little uh, slow cooker and I'm making my own shaga here at home. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I didn't get much, but let me show you another thing. There was, there was this. Y'all remember a, a young lady doing some fine painting as a gentleman was dancing? Well, I, I couldn't leave that or that or this. And there was four, the other ones over getting framed and mounted because I'm gonna put them on my wall to commemorate that moment. So uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I really didn't, oh, th there was this. <laughs> I got a CD from Pookie Lee. She gifted me that. Oh, and, and, and then there was Mitchell Lee Hedges who gave me a picture of the crystal skull that we got to spend some time with. Yeah, there was that. And then there's beautiful Merkaba, which I identify with. That's my energy. I mean, but other than that, that's all I got, you know. <laughs> How about spiritually? Was your soul fed? Well, that's the big thing. Because it was nice to receive all those things in hindsight. I, and I didn't realize, you know, I wasn't, you know, nobody goes there to collect things and things like that. But for me, those things just kind of set that moment apart because I've got them around my house and I'll be putting them on my walls to kind of, you know, uh, so for as long as the cords of memory will lengthen, I'll be holding those memories. But then there's other things that happen that I can't, I don't have any tangible evidence of, but spiritually I'll always carry, you know, every, everything from the best man hug I've ever had at Separate Mount from Brother Matthew. We got in trouble for, for disrupting Sister Grandmother Mary Alliance. <laughs> but that moment on the stage with him and just reuniting was just amazing. It was looking into Carla's eyes. I was looking into Jen's eyes, sharing time with Rhonda. I wish I had been able to spend more time with everybody. And of course, Grandma Barbara, um, you know, amazing. The, and even when I first met you, when I just first saw you, and you know, you said, hey, I got something for you, young man. That's who this is for. You know, we got to spend some time together and that was very special. And we said a prayer together. And she says, now, young man, before you get up there and you give your talk, I don't even know how she knew I was talking. Because, <laughs> but she says, you make sure you put this on. And that was a special moment when she said a prayer for me as we left her van. And then the following day uh, in that Celtic ceremony, again, that shift Lisa and Carla were talking about. Um, it, it's, but the energy there at that site, I, I felt 
you know, normally when I go to the Serpent Mound itself on the site is where I can feel and experience it, but it was all right there at Woodland Alders. Um, and it's still, uh, still resonating. I don't know what it's going to be when it grows up, but I'll tell you what, it, it was like going into a delivery room. You know, if I were a woman, I would probably, it'd be comparable to what labor pains feel like and the contractions are coming and you get to Woodland Alders and all of a sudden, you know, the baby comes, you know, and you just brought something wonderful, new life into the world, you know, and so I had a birthing moment and uh, I guess in an analogical sense, that's what I'm still kind of going through. I don't know. Um, but I've connected with a wonderful community. It was a much richer connection than I've experienced uh, in all my visits to Separate Mound and Big Bay. Um, he kind of felt the same way. He says this time was just different in more amazing ways that really just, just and I think looking at your heads nodding that they really just aren't really tant words to express it, you know, other than at least just says, is, what was that? So, and I just applaud, um, Terry and Thomas and Carla, Rhonda's, we're putting it together for Matthew and holding the space up there on the stage and with the brothers and the drumming and the singing. Um, and it just, it, again, it was just a, it was just perfect. It was, if there was such a thing as a perfect storm, then that was it. And if it was a storm, then we were in the eye of the hurricane. We were in the eye of the tornado because it was peace there. The world was falling apart all around us. And uh, it's like we were getting all these superpowers and getting souped up and connecting. And we were insulated and isolated from all of that. So it was just a wonderful experience beyond words. And, uh, and particularly, uh, you know, there were so many high points, so many high points. Um, and getting to see and look into the eyes of some souls, real touching, real seeing people. A real genuine acknowledgement and listening to the speakers and sharing their wisdom and their knowledge and information. It, it's just a pinnacle moment. It was a pinnacle moment. So I'm looking forward to just, for me, it just further ingrained the fact that, you know, my rainbow family, my Serpent Mount family, I mean, that that's just home. That's home. So, and I just appreciate it and I thank you for it. Jen, are you able to unmute? Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> I got some babies in the background, but we're enjoying connecting with you all. When I saw the invite, I just knew I had to jump on um, just to connect with you all again. And it's like church, you know, this is the best kind of church. So, um, and, and as far as the uh, integration and everything, it's, it's it kind of a shock, you know, like um, right after I left Terry's, I flew into the Denver airport and it was just so crowded. It was just such a big shock, but I felt like less stress and anxiety that I usually do because I had that experience with all, all of you and I felt way more grounded. Um, uh, can I sing it to you? Can I sing something? Yes, absolutely, please. Okay, I tend to communicate better that way. Um, <laughs> we would love that. <laughs> uh, the babies are gonna harmonize, so. Well, take me home. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a, a prayer for us all to stay united and have those chords that I think Grandma Barbara was talking about those cords that she saw us all connected by throughout the world. Okay, here we go. <laughs> United as a one, we are one. Same life force, we are one. 
with you, oh great spirit, giver of life, oh great spirit, giver of life, oh Lord, nothing compares to Oh Lord, nothing compares to you. Oh great spirit, nothing compares to you. Even in my darkest hour you remain. the happiness and pain and at the end you remain through the happiness and pain love will remain oh lord nothing compares to Oh, great spirit, nothing compares to you. Oh, Lord, nothing compares to you. For God is love rooted in the truth. God is love, rooted in the truth. At the end, you remain through the happiness and pain. Love will remain. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Peter. Beautiful. Beautiful. My eyes are leaking now. <laughs> Thank you. You. Always, you always bring us to tears. It is. Um, what a beautiful gift you have. And Thank you. I, I love that. <laughs> I love that you know that it comes through through your song. Thank you. Yeah, that just it just gives me chills. Just thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a part of this event. And I hope that we will see you in Shasta. I know we may not see you in spring, but I'm holding out for Shasta. For sure. I will be there. You you all inspire me so much in every day. So Thank you for everything. Really. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. That was that was so beautiful. Thank you. I love you. I started leaking it. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Matthew. Yeah. I, I love, love you too, Jen. <laughs> We're just gonna have a love fest now. Yeah. Like, let's just have a just, love just, fest. just let it out. Let the tears <laughs> flow. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I feel like we should have over and under bets on the moment that the pure love fest starts. So I was guessing 45 <laughs> minutes and it was 54, the pure love. But then again, we started eight minutes late. So I, I feel like I got a good bet in there. The love fest. Jen, my God, I love you. I love you. I love you so very much. I can't wait I, to see you again. I love you. I, I can't wait to see you. And to see you on camera alone is just giving me chills. So thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful soul. It's inside and out. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. I'm going to mute myself now. Okay. <laughs> have have a good week, everyone. For us. Well done. <laughs> Enjoy their babies. Give them a hug for me, <laughs> Definitely. They're going to they're gonna see you all soon. They're family. I, I hope they're going to dance again. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Vivi, I want to see Vivi with her. 
their ankle yeah climbs yeah. on yeah <laughs> he's practicing <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you no. love you love you too um Mm. Esther, I know, I know you just popped on. <laughs> hey, on the spot. <laughs> yeah, on the spot. <laughs> kind of what we do around here, but you're used to me. <laughs> yeah, I am. It's all right. I love you. <laughs> love you too. Oh, so we are just um, reminiscing about a few weeks ago. And oh. And what is your takeaway from the spring? I was gathering watching you. I had actually, <laughs> I've been watching you on guys, guys on live for a little bit because I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> so it's like, I'm going to let myself wake up a little bit before I come into the Zoom. <laughs> but my sentiments are just like everybody else's. It was probably the most hard uh, star knowledge and probably also the most rewarding for me. So, cause I really felt like I, I kind of let go of the last little bit that I needed to let go of, even though it was the hardest. Um, but I feel like I let go of it and now I'm just like, whoa, and I'm still sleeping like 14 hours a day. <laughs> All I am is drinking water, sleeping like 14 hours a day and halfway feeding myself, <laughs> you know, cause I'm just the integration and the energy and the letting go was so much, but I mean, I feel good. It's not, it's not like a bad thing at all. I feel good. It's just, mm -hmm. that's where I'm at as I, that's as I integrate and do all this new stuff. Yeah. Well, you look amazing. You look, I know you just woke up from a nap, but you look incredible. You look refreshed and self-care is key and, and you're doing yeah. So if you sleep 14 hours a day, whatever. <laughs> I don't, well, tell you the truth. It's a good thing. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> <laughs> so it couldn't have happened at a better time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfection. That's the universe for you. Creator mm -hmm. does amazing things. <laughs> Thank you, Esther, for sharing. I want to hear from Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew, can you unmute yourself? Wow, I mean, I, I think Jen just cap, cap it, cap it for me on the whole emotional experience because I still feel like uh, um, I want to cry. Uh, but not tears of sadness. Um, I was thinking about the whole event and, and kind of some of the things that took place in, in the 3D, trying to function within a spiritual world and, and some of the miscommun miscommunications, maybe even uh, misperceptions that were all perfectly timed uh, to help but do nothing. Uh, but in those individual relationships, strengthen them. Um, and I know you know what I'm speaking about without detail, Carla, firsthand, um, and, and how we work through things like that and become okay. And, and trust my words, we work through that, regardless of where the uh, influence came from or how it came. Um, we, we have the ability, we have the ability to address them um, bring ourselves back into alignment and, and that individual responsibility. And then collectively, uh, we're able to go out there and do what we experienced out there. Um, I, I, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to Brother Thomas and, and uh, Sister Terry um, for eight years now um, that, that I've, I've been coming in a part of. Um, I've, I've watched this thing grow and uh and and when i say grow i'm not talking about the numbers of people um because if we look at only what shows up in the moment we're missing what's really going on in the big picture so it, it's grown because word is out there 
Um, it, it's grown because we all walk away from there with something to share with the rest of the world. We all bring something to share with one another. Chie always talked about everybody is a teacher. And if we're all teachers, that makes us all students. Both sides of that coin need to be respected. I watched as the weather came in. I can take some responsibility for that on the second day because we started out with a song that should have been a clown song and it turned into a thunder song and we got, <laughs> we got rain. But that's just how powerful collectively souls and spirits we are together because everybody resonates with the drum beat. Everybody resonates with the tones of the voices. And, and even though you don't understand the words to these songs, you understand 100% from what you knew from past lifetimes, what it is that we're saying. And you don't have to know because we all feel. We felt when, when uh, our relative Jen sang. We felt when that drum's there. I know a few of you have seen me, uh, some songs when, when, when we are singing together, I can bring tears to my eyes because I know that. I understand what they're saying, which is a bonus, but that took time. But I always knew them. I knew them and they may make me cry from the time I started. Um, I went through the typical, okay, you know, I'm going to bust out of here early in the morning <laughs> at the end of all of it. <laughs> Um, geez, I think sometime around five o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon on a Monday, somewhere around there, I might have rolled out. But, you know, it, it's been somewhat of a, 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 a ritual, I'll call it, for my granddaughter and I to, um, we have to stop by, we have to see Thomas, we have to stop by and talk with Terry and then whoever else comes through. And it's, it, it's kind of hard to let go of what you've been given. Um, and we don't really have to let go. Um, Brother Daryl spoke about that. We're going to carry a piece of that with us in a spiritual sense. Um, stay connected to that. We're going to um, see things that are bothersome. And intuitively, we know how to handle those now. Um, all of us are connected to one another. If it's that bad, uh, reach out to one another. Um, don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm in a space here. Some of you who uh, walk in empathetic ways um, understand what I'm saying. And, and, you know, if you're a giver, somebody's always going to take. Self-care is what Brother Darrell was speaking about. If the body says stop and rest and drink water, that doesn't mean that you get up, keep running and drink coffee. Mm -hmm. that means you stop you take breath drink water it's really pretty simple and it's really that simple we have normal 3d lives whatever that may look like jobs whatever what i can tell you is that with the struggles within that job with personalities and people and, and employees um Felt empowered to empower when I left there. Felt as though they can't hurt me. And only if I allow that will they be able to hurt me. Because I have to remember what I have behind me. And I'm, I'm looking at a screen of just a few. Just a few. Just a small part. And it's even bigger than... Like I said before, what showed up there? This thing is travel. We're going to places like, uh, and I've never been. So I'm looking forward to the the August trip uh, to. Uh, can't even think right now, just because the brain is going. But I'm probably already there, but I don't need to be. I got to come back to the moment. But um, you know, we're gathering a little bit in June for uh, a day. And, and that's going to be a good spiritual jump because we run into Sundance. Um, 
this was a good jump as we went back, as I went back and, and some things came my way to get there for me on a personal level to kind of get through that. Um, this next week, I, I, will start, where I will start to take with some relatives uh, uh, a spiritual journey to enhance what I've learned from you and, and turn those into prayers and, and, and make some things happen. Um, the, the annual Hamadetia. The crying for a vision is, is coming to play here next week. And I'm looking forward to it. I took some time off from doing that when my wife became ill and uh, do what husbands do. We take care of our wives. And, and, and uh, now I know uh, from the other side that both her and she expect me to take care of me. And that's just a piece of one of those things that I can do for me to feed my spiritual muscle. So I need to pay attention to that and listen. Um, I used to have fear about that. Um, what are you going to do when you're out there? You're all alone. You're scared. This will be the first time that I've done it in a group other than taking the drum up with uh, three other singers. And one of those singers, I'm, I'm reminded, that used to come to Serpa Pound, Wambi Pizuta, Medicine Eagle. A lot of you know him as Bob. Um, We did that one time. Left here doing one of the things he loved to do, being in ceremony. At one of our most sacred ceremonies, Sundays. The three came down and he went down with them. And he did all what it did. And he showed up at our ceremony, where it all started for him as a dragonfly. Younger brother John Zephyr just got done sharing the story about how they come to us first. And no sooner we crawled out of that sweat because a lot of us were feeling it. We'd lost a, a good man. We lost a part of book, every one of us. And no sooner sitting there at the drum and singing, here come this dragonfly, buzzing, bam, sat down on the drum. I go, Bob? off you know. so i want to thank everybody for what you brought and what you did was strengthen my ability to see and pay attention she always told me this is what's going to happen for you you might not know it right up front but it's going to happen for you you're just gonna know <clears throat> it's annoying he always talked about we're in a way of knowing we're helping each other to remember what it is society has taken away. And we want to believe we forgot. So I'll leave you with this, one of his most famous phrases. And you all hear me say it. Once you know, you cannot. I love you all. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the future. And uh, I'm grateful. For what I'm looking at on this screen, this is my family. I say, don't shot okay. Thank you, Matthew. That was beautiful. And can you unmute yourself? So um, we need to hear from that shiny man sitting next to you. <laughs> Yep. Up, up next. Um, since, since we're live, I'll refrain from cussing, but you know, yes, no, you know no, who no, we need to bomb. hear from. Yeah, you you already know that the, the bombs are coming out of me. Okay, okay. All right. I'm well, like, if you're okay with traffic. it, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, when I'm in traffic and I don't want somebody to see what I'm doing to them, but I, I'm still giving it to them. This is what's happening right now. But uh <laughs> no, but um but I'm really grateful. For, uh, for all you guys, because it's really important what we're doing to like uh, help people remember who they are and give them such a safe place to drink. It's uh, this guy used to say, like, we all believe this moment into existence. And that's what it feels like when we're there. Like we literally have been thinking about it and planning it since we were on the ship. Like, okay, I'm gonna come back. And uh, look at Master of the Land, that's badass. <laughs> <laughs> Master of the Land! Oh, 
I get a lot. I get, <laughs> you know we're talking about. <laughs> I, I get really full from watching all of you allow each other to be who they are because it allows me to be who I am. And that's really important to me. That's more valuable than anything on this whole thing we're doing. And uh, that's what happens there. And yeah, I don't think I came down. I'm not going to come down. I'm going to stay like in this pink cloud because I like it. And my feet are firmly planted here, but I could be up there and chilling. And uh, you guys help me do that. So I really love all you guys. I'm glad you all exist. I'm glad you guys are breathing. And uh, yeah, you could just, there's so much. I'm just grateful. And we're so lucky, like, we get to do all this stuff. WTF. <laughs> Oh, I, I personally that does like pass the PG-13 mode. It does. It definitely does. You you refrained. You refrained. I'm sorry. I, I personally would like to thank thank you both for because you what all you bring to the event. Um you you bring so much and the singing, helping everyone to remember to sing, to use their voices, how everyone loves to be around that drum. And, and that is because of what you men bring to the event. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, I also unmute. want to thank Thomas. Thomas is the best gong assistant other than my husband who's um, first in line, but Thomas is the best gong friend I have at the mountain. thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I met, I met the competition. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's no competition. It's like, well, you know, like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shiny man. You always make us laugh. Thank you. Thank you for also reminding us always to be those, to be like children. I love that. We need to be playful and have fun. So thank you. Okay, Nikki, can we hear from you and Nelson? <laughs> Wait, me? Me? Yes, you! <laughs> Hi, Nell. I'm taking on to uh, Linda's. Say hi. Hello. Hello. I know we caught some of it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I guess. Um, excited for next week because that'll be my first time again. Would that be next week? So to trust the kids being home and being cared for mm -hmm. will be. Well, I guess they were home the last time, but I was able to check on them, so this will be a little different. And I'm excited for that and for uh, California. That has to happen. We are so excited that you are going to be there with us in Mount Shasta. Not wait. <laughs> hey, Nikki! Matt! Nelson! <laughs> Hello. What up, buddy? <laughs> So Nikki, from your experience, what was your what was your greatest takeaway from from the uh, experience? All the new people and just being um, the background and not having to be up front, just having to listen and see everybody else's reactions mm -hmm. and learn the learning. Well, it was so wonderful in, in having you there, your, your presence you there. In the car. Yep. It's hooked up in the car. Uh, can you hear us there. now? Yeah. I just want to say it was so wonderful to, to have you there with us. Your, your presence meant so, so much. We are just so grateful 
um, to have you there and, and to continue um, at different gatherings. You know, what we so look forward to Mount Shasta. And Nelson, what, do you have anything else, you'd anything you'd like to say? I know you like cheeseburgers. Like, you have American, American grilled cheese. American grilled cheese. Mm. And Bye -bye. <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> Man of few words. Yeah, I don't know how you guys can sit there forever. So, Carla, that Zoom meeting with uh, that lady? Yes. <laughs> Laura, Laura Saw? Yes. Yeah. So I don't know who's all on here, but you understand that, don't you? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll talk about that together yeah yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that together another time okay yeah yeah but i think we're, we're doing all that agreed absolutely yeah. agreed yeah agreed You know Carla, don't you? <laughs> Carla, do you know Linda? Yeah, I know. I know Linda. Oh, I know Linda. <laughs> I know Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. The man of no words has much to say right now about this. which one? <laughs> Matt? Did Rob did Jen already talk? Uh yes. Jen Jen sang for us. Yeah, yes, it's well it's quite an evening. Up oh, there, Sperry, she's unmuting. Yeah, because it's six now, so I missed probably a couple hours, I'm guessing. One. No, just one. Oh, Fifty, just one. Okay. 52 minutes because we were eight minutes late. <laughs> because I went to a movie. <laughs> probably. How dare you have a life? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say when thinking about Nikki um, one of the big things I think of is a grounder mm -hmm. she grounded out the um, she grounded out the event just by being herself yeah. and a grounded mama and we appreciate that yeah when um, Nikki and Matthew led that snake dance that was awesome it was playful. <laughs> it was, um, it was also Nikki telling Matthew, keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> I was trying to keep up. I was trying to keep up. Uh, um, slapping everybody's hands. That's mm -hmm. what I was That was fun. It was fun. It Super was fun. fun. So I missed out on lots of years doing that. Oh, well, you know what? You're here now and that's what matters. You're here now. Yeah. And we are just so grateful to have you and we so look forward to being with you again. And no, we're, we're always here. Re reach out to us at any time. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like yeah. the crazy thing to Nikki. You don't have enough to do. So now you're going to help carry on your dad's work. Even though you have five kids and three jobs. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I just got another one uh, working at the bar. And she, I didn't, I don't need a, a what's it called? Interview. So I can start whenever I want. Yeah. So that'll so help it, get to California. We'll, we'll get you to California. That's yeah. why, like the money that we charge, we take nothing yeah um but we do get our speakers here and rooms for them um yeah. so there's nothing to worry about um this is live on facebook zoom and i put you 
I put it on your page. Hope that's okay. Yeah. And your dad's page. Okay. Um, so is there one thing you can say um, about what you came away with from the event, from the peace summit? Um, that it was peaceful. That's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> that a lot of people there were very loving and, <sighs> and peaceful. That's what it was. There was nothing to worry about. I don't know. Well, I know at one time you said, and we won't say what it was, but it was like there are some people that were being the way they are, and you said, and nobody's judging them. And it was almost like you were surprised that as long as, you know, they're in their heart that nobody at the event would judge them. Yeah. And that's how I think we all need to be in life, even though that I do that sometime and not very nice ways but that's what your dad taught yeah and that's what people need to do around here yeah including the churches and Mm. Uh just like my dad said behind the scenes um making peace and spreading love and in different ways yeah. Yep. So some people sit there and listen. Some people watch. Oh no, my dad had different favorite videos, movies, all every single movie, Avatar, um, Lucy. I don't know who's all seen Lucy. I have not. It is so the bomb shizzle. Yeah, and he he loved that movie. Yes, he did. <laughs> And why did he love it, Nikki? Because when she finally went, she became everything. And uh-huh. before she before she left, she could hear everything. And so at work, that's what I do. I listen to all the kids. I listen to all six classes, like just standing still, hearing every little thing. So if somebody's telling me something, trying for it to be a secret. In my head, somebody can hear you because I could hear other people. Like being tuned into everything, like like a radio. I don't know, like antennas. Just hearing everything, hearing somebody cry or somebody whining or somebody laughing. And then Lucy became everything. That oneness, oneness with all. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. So I know I, I should have, I don't know. Be, I don't remember if it was before or after my dad passed. Then I heard him, and I probably should have said this out there, when I, I heard him um, say, get ready. I didn't question for what. And then him saying my name when I was trying to nap. You know, as so I'm waiting to calm down to hear him again as to what to do next if that makes sense it does it does and you're doing it nikki because you're being you being you and you and you're carrying on (laughs) carrying his work on and that's beautiful Wow, thank you for sharing that um, <laughs> with me as well. Beautiful. Thank you. Get a show of hands of everybody who's going to go watch Lucy now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm looking it up. <laughs> Nelson, Nelson was a baby, and I swear he was two. And one of the parts, it's not a funny part, but the guy was laughing, Matt. And Nelson just giggled and giggled and giggled. But it was right where he about shot him in the head. 
is crazy. Hmm. Thank you for sharing, Nikki, and <laughs> we will talk soon, and we will most definitely um, see you in Mount Shasta, and I see in the note um, someone is asking for us to expand on Shasta. Um, we'll mention it briefly at, at the end of this conversation, but we're still in the process of, of planning. Um, for Shasta, so we don't have all the information just yet. Just plan for Mount Shasta, um, August 11th through the 15th. Um, who have we not heard from yet? Uh, um, Is there anyone else that would like to unmute and speak of their experience? I know some people in the in the call right now may have not have been to the event, but they were spirit led to take some time and um, listen to the Zoom conversation. So Carla, um, Myrna, um, and I don't want to pronounce this name wrong. Um, Ashina, if you would like to unmute and, and did I pronounce that properly? Hello, am I speaking now? Yes. Oh, <laughs> greetings and thank you so much. Um, I uh, was actually getting done uh, with supper and um, something just and I always follow that something because I don't have a name for it <laughs> if anyone does tell me <laughs> but I have no name for it said so turn on the computer uh which I hate I hate computers and I don't have a lot of computer access ex technology knowledge and I said turn it on and just go to Messenger, which I never go to and don't really use or like or know how to use. So there was Terry and it said, Zoom now. And I thought, okay, Spirit wants me to Zoom with Terry now. <laughs> so here I am. And I, I, I just want to tell you, uh, I feel so much love for you in my heart. And as you all were speaking, uh, you know, I'm a very teary-eyed person. I cry at butterflies and flies, <laughs> all of that. And I just felt tears, but they were not tears of sad. They were tears of happiness to be able to be here with you. Um, and that, that's all I can say. It was just uh, such a feeling of love. Uh, that you all exuded that was so strong and so that's the reason I'm here I felt your love and spirit led me here and I'm just so grateful to to see you and meet you I want to say thank you for all of you for being such loving beautiful wonderful people and Oh, wow. Um, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> to quote grandmother, did you get the name of the truck that just hit me? <laughs> I didn't expect that. Um, <laughs> right? Hey. Beautiful. Thank you, Judge so, with this beautiful, beautiful woman just said, that's what we're doing. And, and I think right now it just, it just like hit home. It just hit home right in that moment. She is so taken by all of us and all the love and love is all there is. That's all we need. Yeah. Well, I could use 50 bucks, but love will do. 
just do a dance. <laughs> Dollar bill at a time, baby. You know it. <laughs> oh, that's still PG-13. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you for always making us laugh, Matthew. <laughs> Would uh, anyone else like to speak? We have Carla and Myrna. If you would like to speak, you can unmute. If not, we have the utmost respect, we understand. <coughs> Absolutely. So, uh, Lisa, can you unmute yourself? Um, Terry, if you would like to chime in, you can unmute yourself. And Matthew, you are already unmuted. <laughs> unmute, unmute. Hey, you <laughs> said unmute, so <laughs> mute. Um, so, well, actually, let's have everybody unmute themselves right now. And everybody. Yeah, everybody unmute. And just take a just take a moment. Let's just take a moment, just kind of like settle in to ourselves, into our bodies. And the first thing that pops into our head is what we're gonna um, what what we will do. Like, what was our favorite moment? that happened. So just take a moment, just like sit in your body. What was your favorite moment from the spring gathering, the ceremony of awakening, the first thing that pops into your head? And then AB Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Music. Mm. Food. Dancing. <sighs> Family. Small grandmother, big sword. Hey, it's you two of them. The gong. Yeah, definitely. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs. Aztec dancers. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I'd like to say something about that is our Aztec relatives. They are, um, they're not, um, like at one event, they were called the entertainment. These people live, eat, and sleep their traditions. And um, most of them, the ones from um, Nashville and Memphis, their jobs are dishwashers, maids, etc. But when they come to our event and share their ceremonies with us, um, they're amazing people. I guess it's no matter what we do in life, I worked in the factory for 20 years, no matter what we do, um, there's a way to change people's lives one human at a time. And you too, at all. Thomas? I think the um, what I felt was the spirit of Jesus, and I think he was there with everybody, and everybody took a little bit of a moment, which is that it's hard to put into words. It was uh, that's what it thought was peace, and everybody resonated with it there, and they were in their hearts, and that's what he would have wanted. So that's all um, I can say. Well, and I also have to say that uh, he liked to call me a micromanager and it would get my little tail feathers in the fluff. So I feel bad having um, when grandmother Mary Lyons was on stage um, yelling in my big cranky mama voice because that was uncalled for. I guess I should have just let things unfold as they would. Um, but she is um, an amazing woman who 
travels the world and works with the waters, you know, Ojibwe water keeper. But anyway, that's something that I need to correct on my side. Cut yourself some slack, sis. We're all a work in progress and none of us does this well. Um, but I thank you and honor you for recognizing uh, the shortcomings that fall in all of us. Um, we could all be guilty of wanting to micromanage something we really don't need to be micromanaging. Uh, um, there are some places for that to happen and that should happen in your own world, in, in, your, own life, in your own growth. And, and then, uh, but sometimes we wanna bring that to the outside and that's okay uh, because it needed to be said. In that moment, I will tell you, um, I have nothing but respect for you for speaking those words because I myself know better especially when there's an elder and a grandma on top of it speaking you should be quiet i was taken back by a moment not to make excuses but i hadn't seen my brother daryl in a long time and so it was like coming home week like it is for all of us when we come to Turpin mountain some of those people we haven't seen in a while but we we, we need to be mindful uh to follow up on my sister's words there of when an elder is in front uh because she does do the work. She puts in the time, much uh -huh. like she, she puts in the work. She puts in the time. Um, none of us would have ever done that to him. Um, and if we did, uh, he could make you that example. Uh, but he, always, he did. <laughs> yeah, and, but he, he would do it in a very loving. Yes, way. he would. Yes. And so, you know, we're, we're going to learn from that. And, 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 you know, um, my respect to you, somebody, somebody needs to say those things. And um, I'm not going to talk about your age or my age, but we're at that age where we can speak to people about things like that when they happen. And at my well, age, I should have known better. We were honored with the Mitchell Hedges Crystal Skull coming and yeah, Bill Holmes. So. And they talked to me the day before. I mean, how many how many peace summits or events does he actually do? So we were blessed with that. Yeah. And so it just, I need to think, okay, outside of the box, let's take a little more time because people did want to go up and experience this amazing piece of technology. Um, so. The crystal skull. Yeah. Powerful. Can me act a fool? Ah. Well, we ended up giving Grandmother Mary Lyons a crystal skull that was sitting by the, the actual crystal skull, and she was tickled. Mm -hmm. So, and hey, she says, "I." Hey, hey, the, the thing about that is, though, so, um, that's obviously where it needed to go, and she'll put it to use, and it'll be in ceremony. We can count on that. Yes. And we're all going to benefit from that. I, I don't know when the moment that the crystal skull came out, but I know it wasn't long thereafter. I um, was holding down a tent from flying into the sky. Oh! So I don't know what happened over on that stage, but the gusts of wind that came and um, nearly carried my sick ass into the ether um, was pretty significant. Well, no. and you know, it makes you think, it makes you wonder, what if it was that combination of great, great, great grandmother Mary Lyons and the Crystal Skull meeting, even though it was in a little bit of a, a fray, mm -hmm. but it was something that was important and needed to happen. It's a tour. Right All of it. All of it. <laughs> Nothing happened by accident. Yep. Nothing. <laughs> So yeah, you just true. keep you just keep on being your little backside chewing self, and we'll all get to learn from it, and that's okay. I respect that, and I thank you for that. And that's what I love, Thomas, and I love about the circle that we grow, is that, um, as far as what we do, the circle gets bigger, and. With that circle, I'm just talking about the circle, the planning circle 
yeah. um, people saying, hey, I want to come to your event. And go, oh, wow. Okay. And um, it makes things effortless, really. And we're so close to each other that if there is something we need to say, we say it. And I could have said it in private or something. But um, it's it's just like, you know, Thomas and Carla and, and you know, everybody, it, Matthew and Lisa, it, it just gets easier to put on these events because we're all working together without ego. Right. All right. Uh, excuse Wait. me. Mama's got it cold. <laughs> I'll put me on mute again. Unless you want to talk to Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> he always says no. That yet. Well, I, I feel the, the beauty of this as well as too is it doesn't matter who you are. Like you don't always do the best thing. We maybe we don't always say the best thing, you know. We all have lessons to learn. We all have ways in which um, we can make, you know, shifts within ourselves. So, and I mean, how beautiful to do it in, in this group of people and that we can sit down and have this conversation and feelings not be hurt because everybody understands we're all in the same place. We're all, we're, we're not always going to say and do the right thing. And what is the right thing anymore? So no matter what it is the right thing because there's a lesson learned. Maybe there's one for me or maybe there's one for you. I don't know. Whenever I'm confused about what's the next right thing, I ask Thomas. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> senior or which, junior? I say, which junior. Thomas? Oh, oh that's Lord. Thomas, Thomas Jr. Actually, that's the, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carla, did you tell them about our next events and the immersions and yes, things like that? that? This is the time. So we want to thank each and every one of you um, for being present at the, at the last um, spring gathering. And um, again, we are going to meet once again for one day uh, for summer solstice. And this will be the summer solstice emer emergence at Woodland Altars. We're going to have wisdom keepers, music, ceremony, um, dancing, drumming, singing, um, and ceremony well into the night. And um, as one of the ceremonies, we will be doing a baptism and immersion in the pond right there at Woodland Altars. And this is a beautiful ceremony that um, Carrie and I have done together for quite some time just a beautiful baptism, very spirit led where we will take you into the waters and you'll be baptized within the waters. Um, also, there will be food provided by um, Loving Healthy. The cost uh, is $40, children under 17 are free. Uh, if you would like to vend, please contact Thomas Johnson. It is $75 to vend. Bunks will be available for $30. Um, anything I forgot? Matthew Campbell will be there. Um, Iggy Garcia, Lawrence Rashad Green, Lisa Vivio with her gong. If you love the gong and bowls, they're gonna be back. Um, Cosmic Spirit will be performing as well as uh, Zach Coons, and we will have Ross Hamilton coming. Um, also, Thomas Johnson and- um, Our beautiful Aaron. Carla. Oh, and me. <laughs> Holding us all together. And me. Um, so we look forward to summer solstice immersion on June 21st, the longest day of the year. We will be dancing and drumming and singing. And it is a Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. But we found that people long for those ceremonies that are on the solstices. Mm -hmm. So we want to honor that. 
and then maybe you could give them about making plans for Shasta. Absolutely. So in August, August 11th through the 15th, we are making plans uh, for a Mount Shasta adventure once again. Um, I can't even explain to you what happened in Mount Shasta last September. It's still, I it's still playing out for me. So many gifts were given from that mountain. Um, so we're going back. There's more there. So uh, August 11th through the 15th, we are still putting some final details together, but plan now, save your dollars now. Be there, be there. Um, Terry, we are having the, the Aztec dancers again in, in Mount Shasta, correct? These Aztec dancers are from um, Tenoch Teachland, Okay. Um, from the California coast. Mm -hmm. uh, so often they get called the Mexicans, mm -hmm. but, but here's the deal. They are native to the Americas. They are native American mm -hmm. and they will be there. They are, they are Mexica. Mexica. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Mexica dancers will be there. Terry, myself, we will, we will be doing another um, baptism in Lake Siskiyou. Um, if you look online, there are some photos. It was almost like a biblical experience. It was unbelievable last year. People gathered and didn't even understand what was going on, but just followed the people down into the water. So it was a beautiful experience. Lisa Vivio will be there again with gongs and in bowls, yeah. bowls and gongs and gongs and bowls. It just, you know. <laughs> and Nikki Zephyr. Nikki will be there. Matthew Campbell, do we have you in Mount Shasta? The drum will be there. The drum. Mm -hmm. So plan now, save those dollars. Oh. Daryl Nichols says he's going to attend. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. We'll be making a convoy across 80. The place. We'll know more about this this convoy across the the country, and where we stop along the way. <laughs> we'll make yeah. that a Facebook Live journey. <laughs> yeah, we we do plan on doing some sort of a of a convoy going across country. Um, Esther and I. Are Esther and I are in North Platte, right on I-80 at or the junction oh, no. of- well, 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 that's what um, we said. We gotta go by Rhonda. <laughs> gotta, gotta go. Hey. Gotta come get me. You guys, you, guys, you guys gotta come by Des Moines before you hit there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's perfect stop. Bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and we can all ride together. I'll yep, we're all, gonna, we're, all, we're, all gonna pile, we're all gonna pile in Thomas's Toyota. <laughs> Just drag me to the top. <laughs> no, yeah, I actually, was gonna say Ron and I live in the same town, so <laughs> my daughter Aurelia and I are gonna go by ourselves because. I haven't seen my family in Idaho in about 15 years. So oh, okay. I need to go connect with my family again and and um, do the healing, or we all will be doing healing and reconnection to that beautiful family, so. Yeah. And then we have the fall event, correct? Yes, yeah, and then we'll roll, exactly, we'll roll right into fall again. <laughs> Three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday during the fall equinox. We have a very busy year planned. And in oh, yeah. the fall event, we have um, the Peruvian grandfather. Is that correct, Terry? Um, we don't know that yet, but we do have Shuni, the Mayan mm -hmm. woman. And we, Barbara Vitale yeah. wants to come and Matthew, and hopefully we can get our Nikki there again. and. Mm -hmm. um a lot of good wisdom keepers 
Yeah, what Susan Stanton will be coming. Yeah. I'm I'm not sure, but Thomas, I'm gonna call Thomas. Okay. He's work Thomas, come here. Mir. <laughs> He's trying to fix the light. Um tell him tell him a little bit about Woodland Altars and one of the reasons we have it there. What is the ley lines of Woodland Altars? Well, it's Woodland Altars is just a uh, directly across from Serpent Mound on the eastern side of the asteroid crater. So it's it's even more unique because the energy there um, from the impact is still intact. Where over at Serpent Mound, it's it's been somewhat disturbed, but there is a fault line that goes right down in front of Woodland Altars, between Woodland Altars and Serpent Mound. So there's a really high energy there, and it has, uh, has a lot to do with the wildlife in the area, flora, fauna. It's just a magical place, a lot of magnetic anomalies, and people can feel it when they go there, and it, it helps, um, I think it helps transmit what we're doing out and about. And is so. it a glacier? It, it was only glaciated a couple times back between 250 million years ago and about 35 million years ago. So it, it hasn't been disturbed since then, which is really unique. It makes it like a Garden of Eden. But it also was an ancient seabed, correct? It was an ancient seabed back hundreds of millions of years ago. So yeah, so all that life is buried there. So it's like a big cemetery for the little fossils that used to, organisms that used to live in the ocean. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's just it's a unique area and it's quiet and that's what we like and it's private. And we don't have the interference of, of the people. I know we've done some ceremonies at Serpent Mound and all we get from the people over there is um, you know, we don't like what the public is seeing, so you shouldn't do ceremonies over here. And so that's uh, one of the reasons we went to Woodland Altars. It's just a more peaceful place. Yeah, absolutely, Thomas. It's it, and I, I really feel strongly that everybody enjoys it there and appreciates the peace, the quiet. Um, yeah. It allows them to be a little bit more free to to be who they are because they know no one, no outsiders are going to be coming in. So it's it's perfect. It's beautiful. Thank you. You can definitely feel the energy there. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. So to each and every one of you, thank you so much for being on this Zoom call and, and participating and being a part of this amazing gathering. And um, until we meet again, hopefully June 21st at Woodland Altars for the one day summer solstice immersion. And um, if we don't see you in June, hopefully Shasta. August 11th through the 15th, apparently we're taking, we're taking a convoy <laughs> to Mount Shasta. So we're on a mission for Shasta. So that will be um, August 11th through the 15th. Deta more details to follow. Um, look towards um, Serpent Mound, Star Knowledge, Peace Summits for more information or House of Fake Cops to gather that information because all the information is on the website. Um, also, uh, the fall event will be during um, the fall equinox and that will be on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I apologize, I don't have those dates with me at this very moment if somebody does. the 24th through the 26th. Okay, so September okay. 20. You can also go on our website which is alternate universe rockshop.com. Excellent. Perfect. So again, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for participating. Much love to you all. Most of all, Terry and Thomas, thank you for never, ever stopping doing what you're doing. Because uh -huh. you yeah, this this family keeps growing and growing, and it's all because of you. And we love you immensely. And our the wheel. Gratitude. Yeah, love, that's great. Love you all. Love you, Shiny S. Recharged. Yeah.
<laughs> love you. Love all. you. Thank Shiny you. Man. Love you. <laughs> Good night. 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 <laughs> love, you love, you so much. Oh, ja. love you guys see ya <laughs> love you see you Bye. all soon Bye,